Give me peace in my heart, O God, that I may forgive when I am slighted, that I may love without judgment, that I may be thankful for all that I have, that I may be the person you want me to be. Amen. Welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor for Palm Sunday, March 24, 2024. On the next day, a multitude had come to the feast. When they had heard Jesus coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of the palm trees and went to meet Jesus and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of God, the sovereign of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey, sat on it, and as, as it is written, don't be afraid, daughter of Zion. Behold, your sovereign comes, sitting on a donkey's colt. The disciples didn't understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered these things were written about him, and they had done these things to him. The multitude, therefore, that was with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, was testifying about it. <clears throat> For this had also, the multitude went and met Jesus because they heard of all the great things that he had done and of the sign. The Pharisees, therefore, said among themselves, See how you accomplish nothing. <clears throat> but behold, the world has gone after him. Now there were certain... Greeks among them that went up to worship at the feast. These therefore came to Philip, who said was from Bethsaida and Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we went to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew. In turn, Andrew came with Philip, and they told Jesus. Jesus answered them, the time has come for the human one to be glorified. Most certainly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains <clears throat> itself alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Anyone <clears throat> who loves their life will not be lost. Anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it to eternal life. If anyone serves me, let them follow me. Where I am, there my servant will also be. If anyone serves me, God will honor them. Six weeks ago, we started Lent, the season of repentance, asking for God's forgiveness, and preparation for Easter as well as the sermon series, Meals with Jesus. I was hoping that it would help us see Jesus' heart to those around him through his ministry and interaction with different meals. Meals not only nourish the body, but the soul as well. Pray with me. Heavenly Creator, thank you for so much for bringing us together today to hear your wonderful words and the message we need to receive. Thank you so much for letting us celebrate together. Amen. Who here has ever been to a festival or some sort of public gathering and celebration? There are normally groups of people doing different things, booths set up with information, things to sell and give away, food vendors selling all kinds of yummy goodness. A particular festival I want us as a church to celebrate will be pride, for example. The celebration of us, who we are, the fabulous people created in God's image, unconditional love and acceptance, as well as the freedom to be and to do so. More to come on that. According to the Gospels, Jesus came to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover, a week-long celebration which celebrates the freedom from slavery of the Israelites from the ancient Egypt told in the Old Testament or the Hebrew Bible. The celebration of the Passover Seder, the ritual meal of Passover with Christ, 
is talked about later in the week on Monday, Thursday, or the Feast of the Unleavened Bread. The Passover was celebrated with crowds, parties, and festivals. This was a huge celebration lasting over a week. Our scripture reading begins on a great day where a multitude of people had came to the feast. Jesus, again, was just there to celebrate the Passover, rode into Jerusalem on a young donkey. The people wanted to make Jesus a king and to have him save them from political oppression. So the people in the crowd took branches of palm, palm trees or palm fronds, waved them and went out to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of God, the King of Israel. Hosanna then meant to save us or help us. It's a way of showing honor and calling Jesus and God. The people were saying they believed Jesus was the Son of God. By then, many had heard of Jesus' ministry and his many miracles of healing and doing such great things. Someone in the crowd yelled out that it is written in the Hebrew Bible, Don't be afraid, daughters of Zion, referring to Jerusalem or to the Jewish people. Behold, your king has come, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples didn't understand these things at first, but then they had seen Jesus being glorified, and they remembered that these things were written about him and all the things that they had done with Jesus. The complete meaning of Palm Sunday is simple. It is the marking of the final days of Christ and his triumphant arrival into Jerusalem. Christians continue to celebrate this feast to continue telling the story of Jesus Christ and celebrating his ministry, unconditional life, love, death, and resurrection. Jesus came to save people who were in need and hurting. There were many people who recognized that he was special and wanted him to save them. As we know, others didn't understand who Jesus was and wanted to hurt him, even kill him. The way Christ lived and died did not please everyone, but he did the will of God. The same can be said for you and I. Others may not understand who we are and want to hurt or even kill us. In the wrong location, of course. So let us live in God's love, acceptance, and grace, doing God's will. Palm Sunday is a special day when we can remember Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. We can weigh palm branches and sing praises to celebrate the sacrifice of Jesus. It's a happy occasion that reminds us of God's love for us and God's power to save us. It is a reminder for Christians to welcome Jesus into their heart and be willing to follow him. Let us shout, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of God, the creator of heaven and earth, to give us unconditional love, acceptance, and forgiveness. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna! Sitting there, at that feast and celebration, in that unconditional, all-accepting love for everyone, his friends, family, followers, haters, and just ordinary sinners like you and me. You can really feel the love in that meal with Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Creator God of heaven and earth, with gladness we praise you, for you create all things and sustain all things. For making us in your image to love one another and to care for your creation, we give you thanks. For the gift of Christ who redeems and guides us according to your will, baptizing us through the church to be your people in the world of love, we give you thanks. 
by your Holy Spirit, empower us to show your love to others as we pray for the Church and those a part of it, the community in which we live and love, as well as the world, that we may learn to revere and care for it, and for those who rule in the nations of the world, we offer prayer. For those who serve as teachers, healers, and caregivers, for the poor, the homeless, the hungry, for those who mourn and are alone, and those imprisoned for defending truth or justice, we offer prayer. For the powerless and the oppressed in all nations, those who are persecuted in the service of Christ, and for all who need our ministries as your servants, we offer prayer. Heavenly Creator, we know you hear all prayer regardless of spoken aloud or kept silent in our hearts. Hear now the unspoken prayers of your people. Amen. Now let us join together in saying a prayer similar to the one Jesus taught us to pray many years ago. Heavenly Creator, who is part of a greater realm, your, name, your many names are holy indeed. One day we'll be, we will be part of your realm, but for now we are here in this one to spread your love. We are so blessed to have your unconditional love and forgiveness. Help us to show that love and forgiveness to all people. Help us to walk a path of compassion and help us find our way when we are lost. Your powerful love, compassion, and acceptance are to be glorified for all time. Amen. God be with you and also with you. Lift your hearts. We lift them to God. Let us praise God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, our God, creator of heaven and earth. You formed us in your image of love. Awesome God, we thank you for that and for your righteousness at work in us. We thank you for your justice at work through us. We thank you for your mercy at work all around us. With you, we have hope, unconditional love, and acceptance. To you, we give all praise. In metropolitan community churches around the world, we celebrate an open communion. This means you do not need to be a member of this church or any church to be welcome at this table. It doesn't matter who you are, who you love, what you've done, what you believe, you and all of you are welcome at this wonderful table of love that Jesus set for us. Here at MCC Windsor, our fruit of the vine is alcohol-free grape juice. At the table of love that Jesus shared a meal with his beloved friends, he took bread, blessed it, broke it, and said, this is the bread of new life and acceptance. When you eat of it, do so in remembrance of me. In a similar fashion, Jesus took a cup, raised it, blessed it, and said, <clears throat> this is the cup of God's grace. In it, my love poured out for you. When you drink of it, do so in remembrance of me. Gracious God, we now ask that you pour out your spirit upon this bread and this cup upon each of us, that by sharing this meal together, we might become one with you, one with each other, strengthened to go into the world to spread Christ's message of unconditional love and acceptance as we follow Christ's law of love. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, merciful God, for this blessed and sacred meal for the nourishment of your love and acceptance. May your spirit go with us from here, giving us the strength to share your hope and love with our neighbor and the world.
Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Your support, your thoughts, your prayers, your clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. And of course, your financial contributions are all gratefully appreciated as they enable us to continue this ministry. If you would like to join us in person at Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor, we meet every Sunday at Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road, Windsor, Ontario, Canada, every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. May the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us now until we can meet again. And all God's children say.